My uh, name is Jay. I'm Jay Razon. I actually uh, originate, I'm from Batangas. I grew up in Manila. I uh, graduated from Mapua Institute of Technology. But um, I just want to say, because I'm always proud to say that I was a jeepney driver <laughs> when I was in, uh, uh, at, during college. I actually a, a bus conductor when I was still in Manila during my studies. I was a working student. I was working for the Ministry of Local Government at the time, and we have uh, American consultants. That is from 1980 to 86. The American consultants basically, they influenced me, and they basically told me, you're, you're wasting your time, so why don't you go to the U.S.? So I, I, I left U.S. in 1986. Ma, I'm sorry. I left uh, the Philippines the country. I, I moved to United States, and I was in the U.S. from 1986 to uh, 2007. 2007, I uh, moved here in Canada. It's because I, I married my ex-girlfriend, who is here, and then now I'm here. I'm a Canadian citizen. I had two brothers and a sister, and my mom. I have two daughters here, my wife, uh, but in the U.S. I have a uh, couple of sons in Los Angeles and a couple of brothers are still there in the U.S. I would say it is um, uh, challenging, especially in the first few years, and if you talk to the immigrants, that's probably what they tell you. It's not easy because of the adjustment. And uh, it all depends to how quick you adapt. I, I think that's one of the big questions is how, how quickly you can adapt to the culture of where you live now and you know, how quickly you can mold into the society. That will determine how easy for you, you know, to adjust in, in the new country where you live now. A company called Simply No Debt it's a financial company and basically what I do is I help people who have a lot of debts. Certain, it's called utang, right? Most of my clients have a high amount of credit card debts. So I help them basically to pay off the debts. And I'm also um, a licensed financial advisor. I uh, basically sell investments and insurance and it has to be a, a license it's licensed by the uh, province of british columbia my wife also has um, a financial company uh, a micro lending company i help him manage that as well and i also have a company in the philippines called the harvard consultants basically um, we uh, help people to immigrate either in the u.s or canada about uh, 2008, I founded um, a society called MSDS, which is short for Multicultural Sports Development Society. Basically, it's uh, composed of sports-minded uh, individuals. We basically host uh, basketball tournaments. At one time, we have the uh, former uh, PBA players here. When they played here, we hosted them. But we regularly host basketball leagues because you know the Filipinos they love to play basketball and, and we also love to play basketball. So I founded that. Um, another one that I founded that I, I would say I'm, I'm proud to be able to found it, the uh, Filipino Plaza Society of BC. It's the society that manages the one and only Filipino park that I know outside of Manila which is called the Filipino Plaza. It's a small park in Vancouver. So I, I formed the first group of um, individuals who basically manage and uh, uh, look at the affair of the uh, park. A small park, but there's the logo of the Sarni Manok. There's, uh, it's a small park where people gather. We, we normally hold 
um, a flag raising ceremony there, first week of June, to commemorate the Philippine Independence Day. But it's very symbolic because I think that's the only park that was named Filipino Park outside of Manila. Well, actually, the park was put up in 1986. It was already there. It's just that there's no society or group that handled the maintenance of it. So when I, when I realized it, I said, well, you know, let's form a group that can basically look after the park. But the park was there since 1986. It was put up by another group of committee. I'm actually uh, excited that uh, he's visiting us here. I think the president deserved to be here, and I think the Filipinos deserve to be visited by him. Uh, I think the president is, is, he is my idol, so I really believe in him. I think he's one of the most honest, uh, uh, you know, Philippine presidents at times. I think he's one of the most likable. And, you know, he's, he's a part of the Aquino clan, so, you know, what can you say about this guy? Mr. President, I, I want to Thank you for uh, visiting us here in, in Canada. Um, I think it's, it's, uh, it's due that you visit us here. At the same time, I'm happy that uh, I think you, you did good in, in your uh, terms in, in, the, in the Philippines as the president. I, I think you will be uh, remembered as an honest president and um, a down-to-earth type of uh, president. And, uh, I'm glad that I was still alive when you were president. Uh, I wish you good luck. Hopefully you get a, a, you know, the, the lady that you deserve and raise a family.